Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to a new TV show reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into Fargo, the TV series this time. We've already watched the movie, but I had no idea that there was a TV show until I released my YouTube edit of that and was completely bombarded by like, oh, you should definitely check out the TV show. So now that we wrapped up the first season of True Detective, and I'm still debating on whether or not if I want to watch season two or three of that, I may, but that probably might be for a later on experience. But I really wanted to hop into Fargo because, you know, I love the movie. The Coen brothers are just, you know, directors and brilliant writers that I just, I just, I love their stories that they tell. One of our recent films that we've watched on the channel was Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? And I love that. I love that one. So the fact that there's a TV series about Fargo, not sure if it's with you know the brothers still being uh at the helm of this but i don't know any any anything that has to do with like the movie that i really liked fargo you know i'm kind of excited for so you guys let me know you know uh, what was what is your thoughts about the brothers being a part of this maybe not being a part of this are they i don't really know maybe you guys can just like let me know if that's the case but I'm excited to see where this journey leads us. As always, guys, if you want like early access, maybe instead of one episode a week, you'd rather have two. You know, with the Patreon people, we are probably, you know, we're starting this like way, way ahead. So if you want to kind of catch up to all the Patrons and all that good stuff, definitely check out the Patreon link below. If you don't want to do any of that and you still want to support the channel, definitely leave a like, comment, and subscribe as well as sharing. That really does help out this channel. And um, if you don't want to do any of those, or maybe you don't have a channel for your YouTube and you just like chilling, then don't trip. It's all good. You can still support me by hopefully <laughs> enjoying yourself and just getting your favorite popcorn your favorite snack your favorite bottle of juice and just chillaxing and watching and enjoying this okay so without further ado guys you know the drill let me stop talking let's hop right into the first episode season one okay so i'm not gonna believe this because i remember in the last time <laughs> I believed it for watching the movie Fargo. Turns out that it wasn't even real. <laughs> so I'm gonna take what was just shown to me with a grain of salt. Damn, okay, already. I'm liking how this is being set up for us. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I gotta say, that was a dope looking crash. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love how some of these shots are being framed. Whoa. That is a great frame right there. I just love that. She said that I gotta make a meatloaf. I said we'd bring jello salad, but I'm really excited to see where this story takes us. Is it going to leave off with the briefcase from the movie or is there no connection to the movie? I guess we're going to find out. Oh my <laughs> god, dude. Jesus. That's what I said. We had our good wow. laugh. Why is this slow now at the shop? Jeez. Yo, that was so cold-blooded though. Why would you why would your wife say that? <laughs> you gave me this tie. Well, if you were a better salesman, I'd have bought you a nicer tie. Damn. My man is down bad. That is the, the vocabulary of down bad. I feel so sad. What what does she do? And people uh, uh, fall asleep smoking in bed. They burn to death. And what, what I'm saying is the morgue is, is, is full of guys. I also got to say, I love this actor. His name is is uh, escaping me, but I find him to be just so damn hilarious to me. Oh, hey, Sam. That there, boys, is a black man. Yeah, he, don't, he don't look black, Dad. What? <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't even know what that means, but I somehow took offense to that. <laughs> Nigger. Now, come on, Sam. It's It's... My guard, just like in high school. You went to high school. Damn, bro. What type of high school do y'all go to? 18 years, huh? Yeah. 
That's something else. Never knew what she saw in you, really. <laughs> oh, well. Bro, this dude's such a loser, man. Oh, my God. Why is he such a douchebag? <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh, what a Damn. That is super unfortunate. Damn, bro. I feel super bad for this guy. Of course, he's next to this dude who's like a, you know, I mean, he, he just looks badass. I just love how this dude's face looks. Is that weird? One of these things. Why? Pardon? Why is it not good to dwell on these things? Especially. Things <laughs> I love how this guy's just casually asking questions. He's like, why? You know, what's, what's, what's going on, man? There's a weird part of me that hopes that these two are friends. His, he had his sons with him and... You let a man beat you in front of his children to send them a message? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound too good, man. <laughs> that doesn't sound too good, yeah. Yeah, you kind of got punked a little bit. That were me in your position. I would have killed that man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would have killed him. I would have... I would have probably, you know, either roasted him to death or completely annihilated him physically, but... Damn, I hope that these two are friends. And now he tells you that he had relations with your wife. He <laughs> blows you again. I love how he's just like slowly, he's slowly churning the pot right now. Stoking the fire a little bit. I love it. <laughs> You're asking me to kill this man. No, that was, uh, I was joking. Wow. Mr. Nygaard. Wow, that's crazy. You see how he held that face, man? That is insane. That dude is interesting. I'm very interested to see his character. Oh, is that him? Is that is that the dude he said he wanted the, that, that was his bully? Is that what was going on there? I can't tell. I couldn't tell because it was dark when they showed it, and then he's frozen over. So I just couldn't. I couldn't really tell. But I'm wondering if that was him. It could be just another person, just entirely though. You need to press your forearm into the back of his neck, grab your elbow with the other hand, choke him right out. What, what you want? Was, yo, <laughs> this dude is always about violence. <laughs> I love his energy, bro. <laughs> He just looks so cool, man. His outfit is just so dope. Okay. That'll do it. Wow. Yo, this dude, man. I love his vibe, bro. What on earth? Yo. <laughs> Yo. I also got to say, too, so far, this episode has been shot gorgeously. Absolutely gorgeously. And him, your younger brother. Yeah, I said I heard. Vice President Sales, Midwest region. Mm -hmm. Brought this around sound to celebrate. I mean, it's pretty sweet, huh? Why? Why is, dude? You need to get out of this environment somehow, man. Everybody around you is just corny, bro. I guess that he pees in it at night. <sighs> What's that about? <laughs> yeah what is going on dude the comedy in this is really good it might just be me like i don't know i like this type of comedy so i'm a little biased but like <laughs> you know it's just funny as heck to me oh i may or may not be feeling and for your information i hadn't had a lot of sleep the night before so 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 the toothpaste that was just Damn, did you really trip on pushed around man this guy's getting pushed around. I, I, man, I want him to reconnect with that guy. I want them to be friends. Somehow. Whoa! Yo! Oh my goodness, yo, he actually killed him. He killed him, he stabbed him in the back of the head. Bro! Wife made spaghetti for dinner. Seemed ashamed to barf it up. 
I'm okay now. I was wondering. I was like, he looks familiar. He's from um. Oh God, uh, Breaking Bad, right? Gas tank. Car never drove straight again. Dude, this guy's like the devil. This guy's the freaking devil, man. He's just going around starting all kinds of problems. Who the heck is this guy? Ran his prints? Nothing. Plus, turns out the car was stolen. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, over in Grand Forks. I called the local PD. I'm just waiting on oh, a call Oh, she's back. adorable. <laughs> she's adorable. She is adorable. She's doing her little police work and everything. Wow. She's adorable. She reminds me of the police officer who was in the movie. He's got seniority. Bill cleans his gun with bubble bath. No, it'll be you. If you want. Aw. Aw, that's adorable, man. Aw. Please don't die. Please don't die in a horrible way or anything like that. <laughs> Throughout this series. If you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to call me. Well, Dude, this guy is a problem. He is a absolute menace. Oh my goodness. It's a big policy. Murdered, they're saying. Stabbed to death is what I heard. You okay there, Lester? Wow. Yeah, he's freaking out, man. He's freaking out. I like this so far. <laughs> I'm having a good time with this. <laughs> She says the fellow with the head injury was talking to another fellow about Sam Hess. Oh, yeah? Damn, yo, she's doing great work. <laughs> what? I'm, like, so proud of her, man. <laughs> I just hope that this dude doesn't freaking kill her, man. Like, god dang. Even face me when we're having sex. Now, hold on. That is you not facing me. That's so I can picture a real man. Oh! Fuck, dude. She's... She's terrible. She's freaking terrible, man. That's a lot. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my god! Yo! Oh my goodness, man. Guys, this is. Did you hear the music kick in too? It was like euphoric. And then the cops come in too? Oh god. Yo, this dude really just iced his wife. Like, I mean, she I don't want to say she had it coming, but you didn't make it any easier for yourself egging him like that. Like, you just did it. She's in the basement, Dad. And uh, look, I'm freaking out here. I don't know what to do. Lester, have you been a bad boy? <laughs> ah, I'm so happy these two are kicking it, man. Oh, God. If it's going to be these two... I'm going to have a damn good time. What did you do? You killed her. This dude's going to set this guy up. Is that what's about to happen? He's going to try and set this guy up. I don't know if you want to do that, man. This guy seems like a problem. Lester, listen to me very carefully. I need you to get down on the ground. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, this this cop's going to die, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is going to be this is going to be really bad. This is going to be really bad. This is Chief Thurman. I'm at 613 Willow Creek Drive requesting backup. 613 Willow Creek Drive. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Yo, this has been a crazy first episode. Oh my god. Oh, this sucks. Cause he was such a good dude. Damn. He's about to have a kid. Bemidji police! All units, officer 
This situation has gotten serious now. Wow. I mean, it was already serious, but damn. This this hit like a dark point, man. Oh my goodness. Wow. This dude knocked himself out. This dude knocked himself out, bro. What? You know what type of willpower you got to do to say, I'm going to charge at a wall until I am unconscious? Damn, that is going to be a hard conversation. Oh, God. That's gut-wrenching right there. That is going to be not a very easy talk. Oh, damn, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This dude is just carrying chaos all over the place, wherever he goes. And every few years, you're going to look at her face and know that you're alive because you chose not to go down a certain road on a certain night. Whew, bro, if you hear that, just just don't pursue that. Don't do it. Like, just just don't do it. Go with your instincts. Listen to your gut, bro. Just let him. Just let him go. Just let him go. All right. Just let him go. Oh my God, dude, dude. The way he laid it out for him is just like, oh uh, God. The writing in the show is incredible, man. That's the one thing I've been really noticing with this. The writing is just incredible. Dad. Love you too, hon. I don't know how you can go fishing out in the cold. Fishing already requires such patience. Fishing in the cold, though? Guys, that was the first episode. I'm going to immediately start up the second one. We just got done wrapping up episode one of Fargo season one. Guys, <laughs> I'm going to have a good time with this. So much happened in this episode, and I am just floored by the final act. The build-up towards it was just phenomenal. Like, I love all the characters that are being showcased towards us. I'm excited about where the story is going to lead us, if there even is a story right now. But, like, I think this episode just kind of presented the the overall tone, the tonality of Fargo and what I'm pretty sure I'm about to be getting into for the rest of the episodes. But guys, I want to hear what you thought about this. What were some of your favorite aspects filmmaking wise? I love, I love the writing. The writing was just so good, so good. And some of the cinematography in the show is just almost reminiscent of True Detective, but just a lot colder, <laughs> you know? So I'm, I'm really excited to kind of jump forward with these. I'm not gonna, you know, hold myself up too long because I really want to get into the next episode. So like always guys, thank you guys so much. And um, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying your, your life. I hope you guys are healthy. I hope you guys are good. But like always stay healthy, stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed Everything that I should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat